Hello everybody, this is Steel Crescent. I'm going to show you guys how to use the Tune HUD. Now what you want to do, once you have it installed, you can get it from Game Banana, which is, just type in Google or whatever search engine you use, Tune HUD Updater, and there should be a site, Game Banana, get it from there. And once you've installed it in your Customs folder, or unzipped it, simply double click your Updater. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking so long to load up. Let me pause it and I'll come back when it's loaded up. It takes a moment. Alright, sorry about that, people. Now, as you can see, I've already up uh, customized mine. Once you've installed it and gotten the latest version, simply go to your Customize and turn on what you want. That'll show your damage over your health like normal. That just shows a button effect. That shows the bright side message, disguise animation. If you don't want 32 or whatever, you can do this. Show only 24 players. Show chat in the top left, which I have selected. Remove the shine, which is eh. Money Scout, which places the money you need to get an MVM in the center so it's easier to keep track of. It's red when you've missed money, black when you've got it all. Now the centered Uber charge meter, which I have selected. The centered metal, mad milk meter, which will show a meter, your charge meter. The big power charge meter for the demo, it's for your shield. Right, that's for the shield. That's for the sticky bomb, my bad. And there, and, But you can only have w these two selected or this one selected. I recommend having these two selected. Unless you really need a help from that. Because that will show how many you have out and how many left you can put down. Then there's the custom, which will show your custom health crosses if you've chosen some, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, there's the custom target ID. I just have those selected because it works. Now for the custom colors. Simply, when you want to have a color, you click it and choose one of your colors. If you want a custom color, click here, then input in here what you need. For example, uh, let's see, I think I have it here. If I want Lyra's eye color, uh, no, wait, that's her fur color, I can do this. In red, I would type, no, oh, damn it, it's too big. Let me pull that down a little bit. There we go. Here I'll type 148 tab 255 tab 220 and there I do. I get add to custom and okay I have Lyra's, cu uh, Lyra's fur color as my heel. Now the same goes for all of them. You can choose your own colors for everything. This is what I have and what I use. Tons of fun stuff. Now for here this is main menu stuff which will affect the menu. No really the reason to change anything but maybe that, which will change the HUD's color basically. Now buttons, no really need to mess with that unless you want to. Same with the background colors and stuff. I wouldn't recommend messing with a lot of this. Now item quality colors, I definitely mess with this. As you can see my normal's white, unique is green, strange is Lyra's eye color, vintage is a light blue, haunted is Lyra's green, Genuine is purple, Collector's is a dark red, Unusual is an opalescent crystal purple thing, Community is black, Malib is pink for some reason. Now health crosses. You can have a custom health cross in place of the normal plus. You have a circle, line for some reason, and a square. Right now I have it the default cross. Or you can hide it all together. Now this, this is the warning sign that shows when you uh, get low on health, when it you see the flashing cross normally right here. You can make it anything on I have the heart. Normally this is at 49%, I made it 50 why not? It's pretty self-explanatory stuff. That increases the size of your health bar. Now fonts. You can use one of the, the default t Tune HUD font, TF2 font, and some other custom fonts. Now if you click custom like I have, you can use your computer's text files and use your own custom text, whichever you have installed. Make sure to ed edit the size accordingly so it isn't too big or too small. This is what I have it set at. I might actually make this... Eh, that's fine how it is. It's perfect. Alright. This will remove parts of Tune HUD. I don't recommend clicking any of that. Crosshair, I never mess with that, but I guess it gives you a custom crosshair. I never messed with it. That's optional. In the bottom left portion of your screen, you'll just see this and it'll show the color of your team. Nothing big, not even worth having on. Damaging indi indicator. 
Same thing, you have the default font, which is whatever you have chosen here. Or if you have custom, you can do what I did. If you're going to use the same font as me, use these sizes, 35, 45. Nice, big, and easy to see. Alright, now for this, this is the kill feed. I'm going to actually up mine, which I meant to do. Where is it? Well, I guess they got rid of No, there it is. I wanted it 10. You can increase the max death notices. I don't recommend messing with any of this except the font for it and maybe the colors. Alright, for the main menu. I never messed with any of this. That's the button color when you're selecting play multiplayer, servers, and stuff like that. No need to. That will remove your little character portrait by your health bar. That's up to you. Closed captions. This will change this when it tells you someone's getting hurt. I did not mean to do that. X. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Alright, now as I was saying, you can have custom font or the default font you chose in the fonts for section. I have Equestria, blah blah blah, self-explanatory. Now settings, you change the aspect, resor, aspect ratio according to your computer. This is where you save the tune, HUD updater, and all its components. Simple stuff. It's located on my brother's side of the computers, but I get to mess with HUD stuff. And that's pretty much it. I hope this guy's helped you install your HUD and customize it. If you have any questions, please ask me. By the way, the damage color, yeah. It's, all this is pretty, pretty self-explanatory stuff. You shouldn't have too much trouble uh, customizing it. If you do, though, then I hope this video helped you guys. I'll see you in my next Let's Play videos. You guys have a good one. See you later, and shooby-doo.